All right, hey guys, welcome again to File Arms and Such, and today we're going to be looking at probably one of the coolest things I found on a simplex panel is the way it treats heat detectors. So we are going to be working on my simplex 4098-9754 dual smoke and heat detector. We're only going to be using the heat function today, so that is actually 0.5 on my panel. And there are two troubles in my panel right now because I have the door holder and my visual circuit disabled through my panel because we're going to be setting a lot of things off and it's just kind of a pain and a lot of strobes frankly but i am leaving this horn strobe operational so what's really cool about the way that simplex treats their heat detectors is that they're really smart devices they're not like you know say if one of these was a heat detector you know it's just at 135 degrees or rate of rise and just when it hits it trips and the panel just goes, oh, zone closed. The way that Simplex does it is you can actually go in to the smoke detector, or I'm sorry, the heat detector, and you can actually see information about it. So you can, you know, see that the sensitivity right now is 117 degrees. That's when it will trip. But you can actually change it. For different, different applications, you can change in the panel the way that the heat detector works. So you can have it set at 117 degrees, 135 degrees, or 155 degrees. And you tell the panel and it will tell the, the heat detector how to actually read temperature. For the sake of the video, I'm leaving it at 117 because that's lower activation temperature. So that's just easier to work with. You can also go in and see what it is currently sitting at. So the way that this is read is it is rate of rise over fixed temperature. We're only going to be looking at the fixed temperature part of this for the sake of this video because frankly it's easier to interpret and it's more, uh, what's the word, relevant. So right now the heat detector is sitting at 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're just going to ignore that first value. So that is the actual ambient temperature of the detector. And then if you keep going, you can see, like, if the detector trips, it will keep its peak value. So the highest it got last time since I'd cleared the peak value was 163 degrees. So you can actually go in and see the exact temperature that the detector got. So we are going to clear that so we can work on it. So right now it's just, it's zeroed out basically. And, oops, I went too far. One other thing you can do that you can do on any uh, detector or device is you can force on the LED, which is kind of nice if you're working on it. You can tell it, hey, you know, turn on. It's just really cool how you can code so much through the panel through only two wires that go out to every device, and yet you can target a specific point. Addressable systems have always fascinated me, the way that it can do that, just through different frequencies. Um, so you can see right now we're going to be leaving it at 117 degrees and here is your present value. The way that we're going to be activating this is we're going to just be holding a lighter up underneath the detector because that seems to work better. So I'm real quick just going to press a couple buttons to make sure it doesn't time out. And I'm just going to hold a lighter like this underneath it and then we can watch and you can actually see, we'll see the temperature start to shoot up in a minute. It's not like totally real time. Um, see, there it goes, it's going up. So now if we actually go back into it, you can see that it's sitting right now at 125 degrees and you'll see it start to drop in a minute. You see it's already going back down to 115. And the highest temperature it got was 141 degrees. So we can actually watch and watch it cool down. And you can wait until you know, you're at a comfortable temperature where you know it can be set and not trip again. I usually wait until it gets down into the double digits, um, just because why not? Come on. pretty cool. I don't know why it stopped refreshing randomly. Hmm. Okay. Well, either way you can see it's a it's like a it's basically a real-time 
you can use it to almost as just like a thermometer if you really wanted to. I mean, I wouldn't recommend it, but so we'll here we'll do this again. We're going to clear the peak value again, and we're going to change the sensitivity to 155 degrees, and we'll reset the system. We'll wait for that nice old detector to reset, and then we'll trip it again, and the temperature should be higher for an activation. So we wait. Hmm. It just fascinates me how all this can be done through two wires that go to every device, and yet it can pinpoint such, with such accuracy, you can just pinpoint and go, right here, I want, I'm talking to you right now. That's always just been kind of cool. So you can see right now it's sitting at about 79 degrees. So still a little toasty. It's a little warm. Uh, it's a little warm to the touch. But we'll hold the lighter up underneath again. And we can watch again as the temperature will start to increase. So we'll go in and we will see what our highest temperature is. So we're at 155 degrees, it's sitting at 169 right now, and the highest it got was 180 degrees. So now we just wait again for it to cool down before we reset, and then I'm actually going to flip the sensitivity back. Oh. <laughs> So because it was still above the sensitivity that I had set it at, I thought I let it cool down enough. See, it was just it was just above the sensitivity. So when I changed the sensitivity, it registered again and went, oh wait, it's above 117, and then tripped again. So that was kind of funny. I wasn't even planning to, to do that. So we'll throw a system reset in the panel. Yeah. They're uh their line of uh, True Alarm heat detectors are actually pretty cool. And this isn't, and you can also do things like this uh, with their smoke detectors. That'll be a different video. Uh, you can change the, uh, the sensitivity of smoke detectors too, and you can see real time values. Uh, heat detector was, I, in my opinion, clearer to read just because you had an actual just degree value instead of little percents and all this and all that. And, yeah, so I really hope you guys liked it. I think it's really cool. Um, thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.